These are the craziest outfits and fashion trends in NBA history, and one player's fit was so crazy that the NBA fined him $10,000. But more on that later. First, an insane fit to match with a supercar? LaMelo Ball wore this neon yellow suit, coordinating it with his brand new Lamborghini Urus. And if you didn't think that was wild enough, Melo said he has more suits just like this one that match all his other rides. Maybe the king should take some notes, cause he does not know how to wear a suit. Since entering the league in 03, LeBron's fashion has changed, but it hasn't always been for the better. And we're referring to one specific outfit, this. What looks like a nice suit tie and jacket comes full circle with shorts, striped socks, and ankle high boots, a ridiculous bottom half. The whole getup cost James over $46,000 and is the same suit he wore when he walked out of the 2018 NBA Finals press conference. But that's nothing compared to the outrageous fashion of Russell Westbrook. Did you know that Russ has never worn the same outfit twice? Well, maybe that's a good thing. Let's look at his spectrum of outfits over the years. This tunic and capris at the Teen Choice Awards, a kilt and cardigan at New York Fashion Week, the memorable official photographer vest to roast Kevin Durant, his glasses with no lenses, this oddly revealing sweatshirt, and countless other outfits truly make Westbrook the NBA's most interesting style icon of the 2010s. Now, this will shock you, but the next outfit is even more absurd. See, before JJ Redick was the podcaster and analyst he is today, he had arguably the most unique pregame outfit of all time. On Halloween 2019, he rolled into New Orleans flaunting this Lego costume complete with full headgear. To be fair, this was just a Halloween costume for JJ, but Shaq has worn worn everything under the sun and he'll do it on any day of the week. He even said that he's worn certain outfits just to get attention. This proves that point. He frequently went sleeveless and his most memorable look? These massive suits that were twice as big as the seven foot beast himself. We can only imagine how these suits would look like on a regular person. But Shaq isn't the only person to wear oversized jackets. James Harden became an instant meme with his huge blazer, being compared to Dragon Ball Z and Star Wars characters. He's also worn sweatpants under flannel shorts and his most ridiculous outfit to date has to be this fuzzy look for Christmas 2022, complete with a face mask that's coordinated with his rainbow jacket. Despite this, the beard does hold the title of former GQ cover model, a magazine that Dennis Rodman is also very familiar with. If you can think of it, he's worn it. I mean, this sparkling top and this leopard print dress shirt are shockingly the most normal outfits he wore during his heyday. But the craziest Rodman outfit has to be from 1996, a wedding dress he iconically wore when he married himself. And it wouldn't be Dennis Rodman without his insane hairstyles to top it off. From bold colors to simple designs, wild textures to animal-inspired looks, Rodman really did a little bit of everything. And so does Jimmy Butler. Jimmy gets buckets, but he may not get fashion. This denim on denim look included a linen jacket with added denim sleeves, but that's extremely subtle compared to his biking uniform. Jimmy wore this Borat-esque bodysuit and sweatpants combo to recruit people for his Peloton squad. He capped his recruitment video with the statement, don't hate the player, hate the game. And in 19 1988, Magic Johnson didn't just change the game, he put on a fit that would completely revolutionize it. Launching this huge fur coat in Chicago for All-Star Weekend, this image has become so famous that it has been photoshopped multiple times with other celebrities like Mike Tyson, Eddie Murphy, Madonna, and more. Like Magic's coat, the next article of clothing will go down in NBA history, but for all the wrong reasons. Kyle Kuzma had a fashion choice so ridiculous they made a toy out of it. Surprisingly, it wasn't this, this, or even this. It was was when he wore this massive pink rug that cost him nearly $2,000. When it was posted on social media, he immediately got roasted. NBA players did not hold back with hilarious tweets and Instagram responses. And two years later, that pink sweater has been forever linked to Kuz with this, a personal bobblehead and bobblehead night, an evening Kuzma will never forget. But some have forgotten that Charles Barkley was rocking sparkles on TNT and was once a style icon in his own right, so much so that he was on magazine zine covers. But before we get to Chuck the model, we have to talk about when he dressed up as Alicia Keys for Saturday Night Live. He even lip synced live. And of course, there's his presidential cover shoot, a magazine cover you can buy right now and is nearly as memorable as one of Michael Jordan's wildest outfits. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Unfortunately for many players of this colossal size, it is very difficult finding clothes that fit. Dwight Howard, on the other hand, has never really cared and would just wear clothes that didn't fit at all. Like these huge capri shorts with this slim fit shirt. He even 
even added a cell phone at the hip to truly embody peak 2000s fashion. And this is a look he frequents to this day, seen here, fully decked out in Minions merch, long sweatshorts, and Ugg slippers completing the leisurely outfit. And nothing gets more leisurely than the early 2000s, like this absolutely ridiculous on-the-court look from TJ4. These shorts were so big, you can barely call them shorts. But Allen Iverson's outfits caused league-wide controversy. His hip-hop-inspired clothing was one of the many reasons for the 2005 NBA dress code update. Nearly everything he wore was banned, including in arena, chains, jerseys, headphones, indoor sunglasses, and headwear. That was replaced with business casual attire, seen as a way to upgrade the NBA perception to a more professional look. But this dress code has been relaxed since Adam Silver took over as commissioner. As for Tim Duncan, he was known for being low-key and never had a problem with his dress code, which is exactly why some of these outfits come as a huge surprise. He'd go with the baggy teacher look, but would occasionally spice it up with dress shoes and a belt with flames. Crazy. A simple statement for a guy who has now become a leather jacket man. And there are other players who drew fashion inspiration from teachers too. Right after getting traded from Phoenix to Los Angeles in 2012, Steve Nash made quite the entrance for his first game as a Laker. He arrived in this pink pullover and multicolored bow tie, looking more ready to teach high school math than play a basketball game. But that's tame compared to these ridiculous draft day outfits. Let's check out the best of the weirdest. Tim Thomas's corduroy suit in 1997, Drew Gooden's Dr. Evil look in 2002, Trey Young's short suit in 2018, and the entire 2003 draft topped off with LeBron's massive all-white suit. This just proves that over the years, NBA fashion has changed, but hasn't always improved. And while our next player has been on NBA fans' radar for his looks, his fashion may be even more extreme. GQ dubbed Kelly Oubre Jr. an NBA-style icon, but this look was not part of that statement. Wearing what looks like a leather chef's apron and bowling shoes, Oubre may have been just a candidate for the next style icon. You probably don't know this, but according to Bleacher Report, Serge Ibaka has been in the running for this title as well. He calls his fashion Mufuzi with an athleisure look, but his wildest fit has to be this one. Linen robes and scarves bigger than his whole body. Definitely unique, but not as unique as James Johnson. The NBA journeyman has played on 10 different teams, but we remember him today for one very specific outfit. Johnson's fit looked space ready with a metallic poncho and he brought it full circle with Louis Vuitton jeans and Air Jordan 3s. Those Jordans were fresh, but kicks can't save a disastrous outfit. Not even the NBA's sneaker king PJ Tucker could do it. He sure tried though. PJ wore a short track suit with a trench coat that looks more like a poncho. He attempted to salvage it with these Nike SB Dunk skater die to match, but what's crazier is PJ's next fit. It's color coordinated in green, but this suit and ski mask outfit are quite bold. Tucker didn't even have crazy sneakers to go with it, and there's absolutely Absolutely nothing crazy about the next fit, which is why it makes the list. Jared Allen made his first All-Star game in 2022. Then he immediately got roasted for his underwhelming fashion. He wore this to All-Star Weekend, and fans said he looked like he just walked out of the gap. His response? What am I supposed to do? Wear a $5,000 chain? But at least the casual fan knows who Jared Allen is. Not as many know Darius Basin, so he made up for it with one of the craziest outfits we have ever seen. Leather pants with just one leg rolled up. A vest with no shirt and a hat with an upside down 49ers logo. Quite the revealing look that fans won't soon forget, which is the exact opposite of what Jaden Springer did. He covered up excessively in a hilarious way. The Tennessee product has had his ups and downs with the 76ers, and part of that may be his fashion. While cozy, this purple puffy look has Springer looking more ready to ski than play ball. But nothing you've seen is even close to what's next. It's arguably one of the most iconic NBA fits of all time. And who else other than Mike Michael Jordan. During his playing days, he may have been even more bold off the court than he was on it. Not only did he wear chains during the 1985 dunk contest, but MJ also had one specific fit that will go down in NBA fashion lore. This matching zigzag t-shirt, shorts, gold chain, and of course, an Air Jordan hat. A vintage pattern that has become a staple of the Air Jordan brand ever since.